everyone. Dr. Mandel here with you. Good morning, good evening. We are broadcasting, streaming live, World Wide Web. Uh, notifications are going out. I want to say hello to everyone out there. A, a great program I have ahead of us right now. Statins. Statin drugs. Uh, the major deficiency of a particular vitamin in your body. That is probably the most important vitamin in your body. And I will explain to you something so important that I hope that you really appreciate this because even if you're not on a statin drug, here is something that is going to really blow your mind away. Now, many of you may already know what I'm about to talk about, but which is fine. But let's get right to it. Uh, statins. Uh, before we even go into the statins, we look at this uh, cholesterol drug. And uh, this cholesterol drug, regardless of what it is, and I just want to say a couple things about this. Um, I just want people to understand something that the big thing of cholesterol, the cholesterol, there's no direct correlation between eggs and, and cholesterol and blood cholesterol. There's no direct correlation because I personally have family members as well as people I know very close as well as many, many patients that eats 12 eggs, 14 eggs a week, and they have low cholesterol. I mean, very low. And there are some people that eat no eggs and have high cholesterol. So there's really no direct correlation. But here's my point. The point that I want to bring out is that years ago, normal cholesterol levels was over 300. You're saying, what? That's right. So obviously, as the big pharma came along, and obviously as uh, things happened from other perspectives, which I'm not going to get into, because I'm not here going to not I'm not here to knock drugs. I'm not here to talk about the big pharma, but I need to communicate to people that uh, that uh, the 300 levels people were not having heart disease. So let's go into it. Um, I won't say much about this. I will be having uh, another specialist with me in the near future. And I'm hopefully it will be coming soon. Yes, a very renowned fellow. But um, let's go into the the old uh, the statin drugs here. We look at the statins, and uh, we're looking at uh, muscle pain. We're looking at uh, liver potential damage. We're looking at uh, increased blood sugar type two diabetes. We're looking at neurological side effects. Uh, but you notice that most people who uh, are taking these particular statins. We hear so much muscle pain. Now, as a chiropractor, all right, and obviously intertwining and communicating with thousands of people right now through the World Wide Web and through questions and comments and emails and, and uh, Facebooks, muscle pain is probably one of the greatest common things that people talk about with statins. I got muscle pain. Well, you know what? We could examine you for neurological problems, neck, low back, but if you're taking statins, yes, it can cause muscle pain. I'm going to show, show you why, and I'm going to show you how you can help this. Not only your, your muscles, but your heart, your cells, your energy. Uh, there are people out there just fatigued all the time. I'm going to really teach you something I think you're really going to enjoy. So let's go right to it, okay? Now, this is the study, and I start out with this because you can see right here CoQ10. CoQ10, and I'll explain because people already jump in a dun, gun, but they may be talking about you, uh, ubiquinol. I'm going to explain about CoQ10 in a second. Just give me a second. But you must look at this study. Here's a baseline of a person uh, who obviously is on statin use, and within 30 days, a total reduction of 49% CoQ10. Now, that's serious. All right? Now, as long as I have that study for you right now, and uh, people are saying, you know, uh, this CoQ, CoQ10, what is it? What is it all about? Well, yeah, you're, understand your body manufactures this. As we get older, it manufactures less and less and less and less. And I'm going to show you how important this CoQ10 really is. You need to understand this. So you're going to ask the question, what is CoQ10? Well, you can read this as a spark, as the energy. This ignites the body. This is the jumping, starting energy, like when you start your car. This is the fuel behind your life. This is an essential nutrient that resides in the mitochondria. And I'm going to show you in just a second what it is. These are the tiny factories inside of your cells. This is the catalyst. 
that sparks the production of ATP. ATP, adenosine triphosphate, this is your body's energy. In fact, this is one of the most major benefits of CoQ10. It's more energy that goes for your heart, working better. It's critical your entire body gets more energy, especially your heart, okay? Uh, that's so important. So this takes us right into the mitochondria. Well, this is the powerhouse of our cells. You can just read on, on your own. I'm not going to have to go through all this for you, but this is our DNA. This is our glutathione levels. This is our ATP. This is our energy. People out there who are tired and who are fatigued and who are and have your body just like not working as you get older, uh, because older people, the difference between them and younger people is that they have less, less ATP, less of this CoQ10. That's why you need the supplement as you get older. Uh, uh, many, many studies out there. Dr. Sinatra, you can just go through the internet, uh, reduces blood pressure, helps a cardiac arrhythmias, mitral valve prolapse, congestive heart failure, angina. He's given it to hundreds of his patients, and he's seen people turn around that were ready to die by lacking of CoQ10. So we look at here, CoQ10. Now you're saying, what is CoQ10? What is this all about? Uh, what is ubiquinol? Well, basically the, uh, the body uh, converts uh, CoQ10 to ubiquinol. And I'm not gonna go into all the facts of it because people say, well, ubiquinol is better. Yeah, they see ubiquinol assimilate seven, eight more times better than CoQ10. Uh, it's a different state because the body converts CoQ10 into ubiquinol, okay, as you see in order to work within the cells. Uh, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time about that because I'm going to show you something here. If you look at some studies here about ubiquinone, which is CoQ10, and ubiquinol, which is what it converts into. There are four studies that compared to two forms of differences, and two of them found uh, no significant difference. The third study saw superior absorption of ubiquinol, and the last study found ubiquinone superior. See, the problem here is that when you look at uh, ubiquinol, okay, well, let's see if I can come here. I don't really see this where I'm looking here. Uh, most of the studies were done on CoQ10. So, the important thing here is that you're going to find forms of ubiquinol and forms of CoQ10, and I am not going to say one is better than the other. That's a matter of choice because the studies show it. But basically, when you look at this, this is just kind of reverting back to heart function, uh, aging, people that age quicker, wrinkles, very big with wrinkles. Uh, this is the role of CoQ10, energy production highly concentrated in your organs, your heart, liver, muscles, and kidneys. So when you look at the beneficial uses of ubiquinol, you can see that statin-induced myopathies. And the reason why is because this is affecting the liver. It, it keeps the liver from producing cholesterol and it helps lower the, the cholesterol production by doing this you're actually affecting the production of CoQ10. So this, the statin drug is affecting the production of CoQ10, which leads to experiencing this fatigue, these muscle pains, these weaknesses, uh, the reduced muscle function. And a lot of these conditions get tied into and get very confused with other myopathies, neuropathies, herniated discs, that you can be on a statin drug and realize that you've got compression of a nerve and you're having weakness, it can falsify. You get a false negative or a false positive um, by taking other drugs because drugs have significant side effects. When it comes to your heart, it will, and, and Dr. Sinatra states, it will increase the, the, the function, the strength of your heart. Uh, he's had people with congestive heart failures that never thought any doctor would make it. He put these people on high doses of, of ubiquinol or CoQ10, uh, and the ejection fraction was stronger, and they lived many years. 
So the studies are out there, and I'm not here to, to, to take study for study, but if you want energy, or you are taking statin drugs, because if I was taking a statin drug, you bet I want to be on ubiquinol or CoQ10. Now, uh, I want you to do your homework, go to Amazon, you can look at the reviews. Uh, there are great uh, sublinguals, or, or I don't, uh, they're ones that kind of dissolve in your mouth, the, the CoQ10s or other uh, ones that are out that are out there that uh, ubiquinols that uh, do great jobs too. They're all good if you find a good company. So I'm not here to sell a company. I'm not here to tell you what to take. But I will say anywhere from 50 to 100 milligrams is common, going up to 200 milligrams. And for people uh, who who are really intense running, uh, do uh, high athletics high energy in your type of activity perform better. If you're an athlete, you will be able to form, perform better. If you're a runner, you're going to be able to perform better uh, and you're going to function better and you're going to be healthier. I really hope that this knocks something up in there, but uh, why am I doing this? Why am I talking about this? Uh, because I need you to help me. I need you to spread the word, put on your social media. You're, you're saving lives. You're, you're helping people's lives. You're giving them fuel. You're giving them something. You're giving them like the, the premium gasoline so their body can produce uh, this CoQ10 because without these cells working, it just doesn't function. Try driving your car with no gas. Try being in a healthy body without CoQ10. Remember, the mitochondria, the ATP, that is the center core of energy that gives our body all the energy. And if you're feeling fatigued or you're having some other problems like heart issues, I will always tell you, please, always check with your doctors. Don't do what I tell you to do. I'm trying to put the information out there. I'm putting the foundation out there. I'm opening up the door, trying to take that darkness out of your life and give you light again. That's my job. I really hope this helps you. Check me out on Facebook Motivational Doc. Please leave me reviews if you don't mind. I love uh, reading your reviews. Uh, I really appreciate and be honest, uh, leave your comments there over at Facebook or leave your comments below. I'm sure you're going to get hundreds, hundreds of people reading this. In all respect, this is not in any way whatsoever knocking drug companies. I don't want to go into that. I don't want to make this negative. This is sustaining life. This is helping people. This is what this video is all about. And I hope you learn something because I'm always learning something doing my research. I want to say blessings to you and your family. Continue to stay proactive and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.